Hey, how's it going? This is the unboxing of the Ryobi Factory Reconditioned 10 inch compound miter saw with laser. Model number ZRTS1345L. And of course, my boxes always have extra holes. See what we got here. Kind of expected more packaging. Just a bunch of flat bubbles. And that explains the hole in the box. Use the rest of the junk. And give me a few and I'll slap it together and give you a demonstration. Here's a quick shot of what was in the bag. Adjustment handle, clamp handle, Allen wrench slash screwdriver, Phillips, dust collection bag, and of course the instruction manual. Got the saw set up and these are my initial observations. It has recon melted into the handle for reconditioned. Batteries not included. It takes two AAA batteries for the laser. Covers over here. I just have it off for the moment. The parts included in the bag were the miter lock handle. The workpiece clamp, which just drops in either side. Be nice if they included two. Dust collection bag, which just squeeze clamps on. It has a nice long cord, about five and a half feet. Over here is the storage or down position lock. Just pulls out. This is the blade stop which just pushes in for when you change the blade. Laser adjustment screw which is Phillips. A few slight issues I noticed were the this uh, guard piece is cracked and has a few teeth marks. So I went ahead and contacted the eBay merchant about this cracked piece right here, which is called the throat plate. I'll include the part number later. And they went ahead and sent me a new piece and a screw for some reason. So, cool. I'll definitely give them a good review. The degree sticker back here is peeling. So I'll probably just put some clear tape over that. Also back here is the bevel handle. The safety sticker is also peeling, but meh, who cares. The blade appears to have some marks from use, probably used it when they tested the saw after it was reconditioned. Initial adjustments were, I had to align this pointer which is separate from the crack piece. I squared the miter fence to the blade for the directions. 
you loosen two Allen screws, one over here and the other over here. The Allen tool actually stored right over here. Just slides in and drops in this hole. Other than that, it looks pretty good. So, give me a minute to here to set up my tripod and I will give you a demonstration of the laser and we'll make a cut. There we go. Got the camera set so I can give you guys a demonstration. Now, I've already checked to see if the blade was tight. You loosen this screw right here. This cover rotates back and exposes a Allen head internal bolt that you can use the tool provided or has an X on the outside. And that's the bolt that you remove to replace the blade. Now, for the directions, I'm going to score the wood and then adjust the laser. Well, first, I'm going to show you the laser before I score the wood, but I have to turn my work light off. Okay. Now the laser appears to be a dotted line, but that's because this cover has slots cut in it. Roll that back and it's a solid line. Or actually appears to be maybe two lasers. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And we will make a quick score. You can see the laser does not match the cut. Unplug the saw. Take my tool. And right about Right about there. Now my laser is right in the cut. Okay, let's make a quick cut. Helps by plugging back in. There we go. Does the job nicely. Turn my light back on. Show you this one last feature. This is the reason I chose this reconditioned saw over a cheaper new saw of another brand. I'm going to pull my cover back and be cautious. And I'm going to stop and start the blade because this saw has a breaking feature. That's all for now. I think I got a couple projects coming up, and after I do those, I will post a short review. So, thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Peace out. Hey, how's it going? This is the unboxing of the Ryobi. <laughs>